The adaptive immune system, also known as the acquired immune system or, more rarely, as the specific immune system, is a subsystem of the overall immune system that is composed of highly specialized systemic cells and processes that eliminate pathogens or prevent their growth. The acquired immune system is one of the two main immunity strategies found in vertebrates, the other being the innate immune system. Acquired immunity creates immunological memory after an initial response to a specific pathogen and leads to an enhanced response to subsequent encounters with that pathogen. This process of acquired immunity is the basis of vaccination. Like the innate system, the acquired system includes both humoral immunity components and cell-mediated immunity components. The term adaptive was first used by Robert Good in reference to antibody responses in frogs as a synonym for acquired immune response in 1964. Good acknowledged he used the terms as synonyms but explained only that he preferred to use the term adaptive. He might have been thinking of the then not implausible theory of antibody formation in which antibodies were plastic and could adapt themselves to the molecular shape of antigens and or to the concept of adaptive enzymes as described by monod in bacteria. That is, enzymes whose expression could be induced by their substrates. The phrase was used almost exclusively by Good and his students and a few other immunologists working with marginal organisms until the 1990s when it became widely used in tandem with the term innate immunity which became a popular subject after the discovery of the toll receptor system in Drosophila, a previously marginal organism for the study of immunology. The term adaptive as used in immunology is problematic as acquired immune responses can be both adaptive and maladaptive in the physiological sense. Indeed, both acquired and innate immune responses can be both adaptive and maladaptive in the evolutionary sense. Most textbooks today, following the early use by Janeway, use adaptive almost exclusively and noting in glossaries that the term is synonymous with acquired. The classic sense of acquired immunity came to mean, since Tonegawa's discovery, antigen-specific immunity mediated by somatic gene rearrangements that create clone-defining antigen receptors. In the last decade, the term adaptive has been increasingly applied to another class of immune response not so far associated with somatic gene rearrangements. These include expansion of natural killer NK cells with so far unexplained specificity for antigens, expansion of NK cells expressing germline encoded receptors, and activation of other innate immune cells to an activated state that confers a short-term immune memory. In this sense, adaptive immunity more closely resembles the concept of activated state or heterostasis thus returning in sense to the physiological sense of adaptation to environmental changes. Unlike the innate immune system, the acquired immune system is highly specific to a particular pathogen. Acquired immunity can also provide long-lasting protection, for example. Someone who recovers from measles is now protected against measles for their lifetime. In other cases it does not provide lifetime protection, for example, chickenpox. The acquired system response destroys invading pathogens and any toxic molecules they produce. Sometimes the acquired system is unable to distinguish harmful from harmless foreign molecules. The effects of this may be hay fever, asthma or any other allergy. Antigens are any substances that elicit the acquired immune response whether adaptive or maladaptive to the organism. The cells that carry out the acquired immune response are white blood cells known as lymphocytes. Two main broad classes, antibody responses and cell-mediated immune response, are also carried by two different lymphocytes B cells and T cells. In antibody responses, B cells are activated to secrete antibodies, which are proteins also known as immunoglobulins. Antibodies travel through the bloodstream and bind to the foreign antigen causing it to inactivate. 
which does not allow the antigen to bind to the host. In acquired immunity, pathogen-specific receptors are acquired during the lifetime of the organism whereas in innate immunity pathogen-specific receptors are already encoded in the germline. The acquired response is called adaptive because it prepares the body's immune system for future challenges though it can actually also be maladaptive when it results in autoimmunity. The system is highly adaptable because of somatic hypermutation a process of accelerated somatic mutations and VDJ recombination and a reversible genetic recombination of antigen receptor gene segments. This mechanism allows a small number of genes to generate a vast number of different antigen receptors, which are then uniquely expressed on each individual lymphocyte. Since the gene rearrangement leads to an irreversible change in the DNA of each cell, all progeny offspring of that cell inherit genes that encode the same receptor specificity, including the memory B cells and memory T cells that are the keys to long-lived specific immunity. A theoretical framework explaining the workings of the acquired immune system is provided by immune network theory. This theory which builds on established concepts of clonal selection, is being applied in the search for an HIV vaccine. Subscribe our channel for more such informative short video.